Hello. What we're going to work on tonight is a Corbin desk lock. It's a five pin. Not really difficult to pick. But what we're going to do is pick it, take it apart, and make a key for it. Um, so we'll go ahead and get the picking part. It said it's five pins. One thing you don't watch for on these desk locks is the first pin can be really close to the front of the plug. So your tension bar can hit it a lot of times. So what I do is put the tension bar in and pull it out just a hair. That way I can be sure that I'm not applying tension to the first pin. And then we'll go ahead and pick it here. There it is picked. So not much to this one here. We'll go ahead and leave it picked and we will take it apart. Put the picks away. Screwdriver. Now this is something you can do. I mean, say you buy some furniture at a yard sale, whatever. They're easy to make keys for normally. This one I haven't had apart yet. So we'll go ahead and pull it apart. Okay, there we've got a spring and a cam. And then we turn it over here. And you can see there's two screws. And there's not really a clip holding the plug in, but what's holding the plug in is the metal. There's a slot for a clip, but instead of a clip, they're using the metal. So we'll take this two screws off lift this up and pull it off and the plug should come right out the front so screw so the screws are out so go ahead and lift it up and pop it out. Now the plug is free. So we'll go ahead and get a follower. If you don't have a follower, use whatever, a battery. Um, I use sockets in a lot of cases if I don't have the right follower. But for this one I should have the follower for. Yep, yeah, that's the right size. Make sure your key pins are facing up here so you don't drop them all over the place. If you do drop them over the place, it doesn't really matter because unless you've got a bunch of these that are key to like, I already had a key blank picked out for it. So now there's what we have. So the way I do this, I normally use a code machine and do it, but uh, I'm just going to do it a little different here. I'm going to go ahead and take the pins out, put them in my Sparrows pinning mat here. There's one, two, three, four, five. Except normally use a code machine, but this way you guys can see how you can do it at home. I'm just going to use generic file set. What I'm going to do is with the key blank inserted all the way, I'm going to use my file and go into each one of these pin chambers and just kind of scratch the key blank. And there I have my spacing, all five marks. So that part's done. So now what I'll do is put the key blank back in, take my first pin, put it in, and see that one's pretty deep. So I will grab a file. I'm going to use, I'll just use this file here, I guess. I'm just going to file that one down. until it's flush. Actually, I'm going to use a little more. Still got a ways to go. To speed this up, I'm going to use a little bigger round file here.
you want to make sure with these deep cuts you don't get into your other cut. So what I might do is go ahead and mark number two, which is right here. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go ahead. said so you can use any kind of file you want. Um, I don't want this to be a 20 minute video though. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Pippin file and use it. My Pippin file is about wore out too. Got a ways to go. I'm going to go ahead and put number two in too. Number two is a deep one. And just file down, like I said, until they're all flush. This first one is kind of a deep one. We're getting close to number three also. Go ahead and mark number three and check my key. Getting closer. close now for the first two at least number two is good number one I need a little deeper okay there's one and two are flush now we'll drop in number three. Three isn't too bad. So number three, we'll go ahead and file now. Go ahead and mark number four real quick. Check it. Don't want to go too deep. A little more. If you're going to be doing any impressioning or making keys, it's nice to have this Pippin file because you can roll it side to side and get rid of your uh, the slopes on the key just a hair more, dang it I dropped all the pins but that's okay if you do happen to go too deep on one just rearrange the pins if you need to get a higher pin in there because like I said unless you got a bunch of these that are key to like it doesn't matter Okay, three is good now. So we'll grab number four. Number four's got a ways to go. Okay, just a hair more there. Four should be good. Now number five is like a lot of them right out on the tip. Just getting a mark there so I can see what I'm doing. And there's number five. Number five's got a ways to go. Just a 
care more. And there's the key for it. All five pins are flush. I should be able to put it back in the lock. doesn't want to go back in the lock you've got a pin that's too high like this one number one two three number four is still a hair high so we're gonna hit it again that's better and it's going in better okay so the key's in it now and the key works it it's still a little tight that's okay. Um, we'll take the key out and look at it and look for some marks. I don't know if you can see my marks or not. Number five, you see that dot in number five. So I'm going to smack that with the file. Not smack it, but hit it a time or two and check it again. That turns a lot easier. Another thing you can do is turn it and kind of bounce it with your file and just kind of hit the key head. A little bit and then pull it back out. I'm getting a good mark in number one. You see that dot right there, it's standing out really good. So that I'm gonna hit that one. And number three is working also. And there it is. There's what the key looks like. Really deep cut in number one. So uh, I'm not going to uh, put this back together on cam right now. You all saw how it came apart. It goes back together pretty much the same way. Because um, the video is already at 12 minutes, so it's going to take me a day to upload it. But uh, there it is. A Corbin picked and a key made for it. One other quick key I wanted to show you here real quick. Um, bam, 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 bam. Get a lot of these desk locks that are froze up that don't work at all. When you ever you get a desk lock, what you want to do if you're having problems with it, check it. See this one here is another Corbin. This is a newer Corbin. We put the tension bar in and try to turn it. You can see that there is zero plug movement there. Check it with a pick and you can feel that this one here has two pins in it jammed. So don't be wasting your time on trying to pick that or get into it. The plug needs to have a little bit of movement. Here's another Corbin I have. I wonder if it's keyed the same. Nope. Um, another Corbin. So I do the same thing with it. Put the tension bar in. Let the camera focus. And you can see the plug's moving on this one. Got a little bit of movement. That's all you need is a little bit. But this one's good to go. So uh, just check that before you get frustrated trying to pick one of these little cam or desk locks. They are they can be a little tough to pick sometimes because the pins are smaller in diameter and they're closer together than they are in say a quick set or schlag. So uh, that's it this time. Corbin picked in and key made for it. Thanks for watching.